Howdy. <laughs> Good day, folks. Why am I starting this video out with a bowl of change? I've come across several channels here recently showing change, rolling change, putting change in the bank. Wanted to put my own little spin on change. I've been picking up change here, there, everywhere, digging in the couch, digging in my car, digging in my wife's purse, looking everywhere, pocketing change every time I use money, taking the change, throw it in the change bucket. About every two or three months, we take this change and we make it grow even further off the change that we're finding, collecting, gathering, and we are putting it towards building wealth. Amazing what a little bit of change can do and how far it can grow. Putting my own little spin on this, I think it's great people taking care of their change, taking it and collecting it, but I wanted to show you my own little spin, my own little version of what you can do with this change as you collect it. Uh, the, for those new to my channel, please take a second to hit the subscribe button. Give me a like. For all of you, please do that. That really helps the channel. I'm going to take some time to show you what you can do with this change but not only that we've been talking about savings growing getting ready for retirement investing and growing wealth how important it can be to you and your family how wonderful it can be to see that money grow it's also good what I look at change for is teaching my kids how to save up money the importance of it and how you can see that money grow so with that being said, let's get in today's video. Okay, so I'm going to use these ants as an illustration point. Each one of these ants represents a dollar towards your financial goals, where you're wanting to be, whether it be retirement, whether it be setting up an emergency fund, fully funded. We're going to use these ants to illustrate a point. Uh, just as a disclaimer, none of these ants were harmed in the filming of this video. Uh, each one of these ants has a job has a duty every dollar that we have needs to follow a budget and be have a mission I, I think of dollars as little soldiers out there to do battle for me so we're gonna have these dollars just as these ants are assigned they're each gonna have their mission they're each gonna have a goal they're gonna have a duty so whenever I'm looking at this coin jar getting back to the coin jar the coin jar itself is just one big piece or a small piece in a bigger puzzle that we're trying to put together to build wealth, to build a great savings account, whatever your financial goal may be. But if we just hang on to this coin jar as it is, it's not going to build wealth. It's going to sit there and, you know, inflation's going to eat it up. Instead, we want it to make money for us, not the other way around. Okay, drum roll, please. It's a terrible drum roll. What we come up with in the 1.5 months is roughly around $30 and change. That's what, you know, I sat down and counted it out. I was going to do this dramatic, me counting change, but it looked boring as I'll get out to me. So, you know, uh, $30, which averages out per year to be about $240, which is a nice little, that's a nice little bag for, for change you've just found, a uh, little spare change that you've you know, you, you spent some money, had a handful of change, throw it in the bucket, collect it. So, what we do with this, though, is the exciting part. Instead of it, you know, every year inflation creeps up on us about 2%, making that money a little less valuable. Instead of putting it in a savings account, I kind of look at this money as something that wasn't really accounted for in the budget. It's just kind of like, it is what it is, fair change. So what I do and what you could do is I'm going to leave a little link in the description to Weeble, which is what I use. If you have a friend that uses Weeble or Robinhood, please feel free to use that. You don't have to do this. Uh, whenever you do sign on to Weeble, you'll get a couple of free stocks, as will I. But what I do is I go in and I buy a share of stock, a little piece of a company with that. Uh, I buy AT&T which is a dividend aristocrat, they have, which means they've increased their dividend, their payout per quarter, per, you know, per 
so many periods of time, every three months, I get, uh, I believe it was 52 cent for each share this past time. And each quarter, it, they've increased since 1985, which is great. Now I'm taking that change and I'm building upon it. Uh, the value of that share of stock has fluctuated as low as 25, I believe somewhere in the range of 35, 34-ish. Uh, so not a lot of wiggle room there. This is not a growth company. Uh, you could go with Coca-Cola, which is also an aristocrat, I believe, and just grow that change. Every month and a half, ever so often, that change doesn't have to sit in a savings account. With a brick and mortar savings account, you're averaging looking at like 0.05%, which is awful right now. Uh, I think it's very helpful to put that, invest it. I've been asked a couple of questions lately. Where should I put my money? I would look at, if I wasn't an experienced investor, I would look at companies that are well known, been around a while, look great. Um, you're not really gonna know balance sheets. AT&T is a company that has been around for years and years, well known. They have 5G rollout. They, you know, they're really a conglomerate. They own multi facets of business. I believe they're looking at selling some of their businesses, which will decrease some of their debt, which is one concern with that particular company. I believe overall, when you look at them though, they are in great financial shape. The debt is a little bit concerning, but a lot of um, blue chip big time companies are struggling due to the pandemic that we've all been through. I think they're gonna be okay, it looks like. You also have Coca-Cola, you, you know, there's a multitude of businesses out there. You can do your own, you know, research on that. Um, as a bonus tip, I wanted to definitely take a sec to go over this because I don't think a lot of other places have hit it. With the coins, be sure to look at your coins, take an extra split second to go through, look at your coins. There are several YouTube channels on here and several other resources where you can look and if you come across a uh, quarter, I believe it's prior to 1965, it's gonna have silver in it. If you go back and you find pennies from the early 1900s, they're gonna have some value. You may stumble upon coins, you know, we're trying to save money, but you may come, uh, come across a great penny, a great coin that's gonna have a huge amount of value just because of the collectability factor. I know uh, there's been errors on, on coins in the past. That makes them increase in value. There's something about when it's minted and, and it, there's some kind of, in the casting, something went haywire. And if you find that and you spot that, it is a lot of value. So as a, as a bonus tip, I would be sure to go through my coins as I'm looking at them and make sure that you're not giving the bank something that's gonna have a huge amount of value. I know I've been to several flea markets in the past and several different expos and they'll have coins there and you look at them they're like 50 50 buck quarters and, and all kinds of things like that and we certainly don't want to throw that in a roll or a machine that uh spits it out and and you you know it's gone forever definitely 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 take a look at those coins and make sure you're not putting it out there like that well guys i hope that you've got a little bit of value out of this video today uh i have had some people ask about my health test is still pending i will say that i'm feeling wonderful today much better over the past couple of days really think it's probably sinuses as you see i'm outside a lot i enjoy the outdoors who knew so we're hoping that's all it is feeling a lot better uh if you got any other tips about coins and coin collecting if you're a coin collector you know drop me a comment in there and as i was saying i'm gonna leave the weeble link in there there's also Robin Hood, there's Fidelity. The best thing I can say about investing is you gotta get started somewhere. Uh, tons of tips out there to look at on how to invest. Again, I always, it's always preferable to start out with an ETF, which is you can buy a, the whole stock market. You know, the stock market's increased in value typically seven, eight percent, which is huge compared to like your typical normal savings account. So, but with that being said, it's also not a bad idea to look at some of these 
you know, companies, Coca-Cola, I mentioned AT&T that have been around a while, fairly stable. I don't think they're going anywhere. So also a great place to put your money to build, you know, those dividends. Love the dividends. It's going to keep rolling back. You're going to keep, you know, gaining money on what you're putting in there. Well, I hope everyone has got a little value, like I was saying. I hope everyone's having a great day. And with that being said, that's all I have. Please give me a like. Please tell your family, friends, neighbors, you know, to give these videos a view. It really helps me, it really helps the channel. I hope I'm partaying, parlaying a little bit of value, trying to help folks out. I know it helps hold me accountable. I try to uh, uh, follow what I preach, so to speak. And uh, with that being said, I hope everyone has a great rest of the day, great week we're rolling into. And uh, get out there and do your best to cut your expenses, you know, save money and help your family out in that way and increase your wealth overall. All right, everyone have a great week. Thank you.